Let's compare Tamarillos, parent Tamarillos, with a hybrid Tamarillo. This is cold hardy Tamarillo. Notice how robust the leaves are. It's growing really nicely. This is our most cold hardy species for Northern California. And it's flowering already really nicely. And actually, as you can see, it's starting to set fruits. So pretty early. Now, this is the other parent of the hybrid. You see those bare branches? This is Guava Tamarillo. Just coming back after winter, it lost all of its leaves. It fruited for the first time last year for me. And this is a rooted cutting. Notice how horizontally it grows. Very interesting, but again, more cold sensitive than hardy Tamarillo. And then here's the hybrid. So notice the leaves are much smaller, but somewhat similar. And it's more cold hardy and it's flowering already. And a bonus is that the fruits are actually better than either, the, either of the parents. So fruits of hardy Tamarillo, they are tasty, but there isn't really much to eat. They're very thick skin, just, you know, a little bit of flesh to scrape from inside the fruit. Really beautiful flowers though, beautiful plant, nicely shaped. Guava tamario, I haven't really tasted properly <laughs> ripened fruit, but the ones which I tasted were okay, comparable to regular tamarillos. So nothing really to write home about. I mean, you know, I love tamarillos, it's a good tamarillo. Little tougher to grow in our climate. But the hybrid has absolutely delicious fruits. So this, with a very thin skin, it's, you can pop them in your mouth just like berries. So this is the one I think that's really worth propagating. And it was originally created uh, by, by Wojciech Szymański in Poland. He kindly shared the seeds with us. And Brian Laufer grew a mother plant that is currently in the jungle. Come and check it out when you visit.